Hello there, and welcome to another episode of a weekly deathmatch. This week, I'm trying something a little bit new. Um, it is a surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, so this, what's what's new here is not only is it a different game that I've not done before, but this is um, a video from my PS4. So first thing you'll notice is it's 720p, and that means it's not uh, the kind of quality you're used to. But I'm hoping it's not that much of a dip in quality. I'm gonna upload this. Um, gonna put it all on YouTube. I'm uh, gonna see how it kind of turns out in the final product, and then I'll make my decision as to whether I want to continue this kind of uh, video uh, based on there. But I just wanted to try and see if I could get this working because th I'm really fucking liking this game. Um, I know that the main mode is kind of galactic assault where you've got objectives and like there's 64 players on the map and everything and like you can you can uh, unlock heroes and stuff and run around as Luke Skywalker and uh, wreck people but my favorite mode has just been blast just deathmatch uh, so there's there's no heroes in this mode it is just plain deathmatch with like all of the assault classes and the only kind of um, larger classes you can work t towards two of your points is the rocket trooper and oh, I don't know something else um, I know for the rebellion it's a Wookiees but I'm not sure what it is for the droids but this is a this is a really fun mode and this is probably my favorite map as well for it uh, I always seem to do well on this map and I think this is probably the best game I've ever had because uh, I haven't played too much I, I hit rank 10 in this video um, but yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it, so I'm really glad that I was able to actually transfer the video from my PS4 to my PC. Because that's something, if you watched my uh, Marvel Spider-Man Not A VOD video, that's something you'll have noticed I've been trying to figure out recently. Because I uploaded that straight from my PS4, but it was a massive hassle to do so. Uh, but what you need to do to transfer files from your PS4 to your PC is a USB. So I bought a USB, but it's kind of stylized. Uh, in a way that makes it too bulky to fit through the PS4 kind of vents to get to the USB port. But with some finagling I managed to do it and so I managed to uh, record 8 minutes of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and uh, put it on my PC. And this makes me excited for future opportunities. Uh, I'm just going to see what it looks like on my um, on the, the final product for YouTube. I doubt it'll look that much different to the ultimate uh, quality we got for Spider-Man, but I don't know, maybe we'll see. Uh, I will obviously render this uh, with 720p YouTube settings. I've got uh, templates for both 720p and 1080p, so I'll make sure to render it as 720p, otherwise I'm sure it'll look fucking terrible. But yeah, uh, this is Blast. This is their deathmatch mode, and it's a lot of fun. And I... So I racked my brain, I was like, what am I going to talk about this week on a weekly deathmatch? Um, and I was like, okay, so what's happened in my week? And my brain was like, this week? I was like, yeah. It's like, nothing happened this week, dude. I can't think of a single interesting thing that's happened to me this week or that I want to talk about. I guess other than that I've been playing this game. Uh, oh, I forgot to say I bought it for a tenner in a sale. And that I've been watching Titans. And I'll get to Titans in a minute. But I just want to quickly say... Another thing about Star Wars Battlefront 2 is there's a lot of controversy surrounding it because they had really shit microtransactions at launch and then they took all the microtransactions out and then they patched them back in and to be honest I stopped following the whole controversy thing after they took them out uh, so I have no idea if the current microtransaction system that's in place is popular or not uh, but all I can say is that although it's it seems like quite a grind but it also seems like there's not many cosmetics really worth having anyway and this isn't really the kind of game I'd play to grind cosmetics, so I'm quite happy just with the way the game is right now. I haven't played the campaign yet or anything like that, I haven't tried the arcade mode either. Um, all I've really tried is these multiplayer modes. I've tried Galactic Assault, Starfighter Assault, um, Blast, and Heroes vs Villains, those are the modes I've tried and I've enjoyed all of them. It's actually triple XP weekend for Starfighter Assault, uh, so I should probably play some of that. But yeah, I just really love it. It's really fucking authentic. Like, holy shit. I didn't know a Star Wars game could look this good. The droids in this game look better than the droids in the prequels. Because, like, they're rendered in real time and they look better than the CGI droids in the prequels. I'm willing to bet. I haven't gone back and compared the two side by side, but I don't think I need to. Um, 
and also I, I fucking love playing as the dark side uh, factions in this game, even in Blast I just prefer playing as stormtroopers and droids and stuff, I don't know why maybe I'm just evil um, but yeah that's what I really have to say about this game right now um, but yeah, Titans so on Netflix uh, there is a new series by DC, Titans, it's basically Teen Titans but live action and gritty and edgy and the gritty edginess of it uh, is it's not off-putting, it's... You don't want to go into it expecting exactly the same characters from Teen Titans. For starters, Cyborg isn't even in it. I have a friend who's refusing to watch it because Cyborg isn't in it, but I'm sure he'll be in Season 2 or something. Um, I'm guessing maybe they didn't want to put Cyborg in it because I don't know if it fits in with the cinematic universe or anything like that. I need to read up on that. Uh, but maybe it's because uh, Justice League came out and they... They don't want to have two Cyborgs in two different series too close to each other or something. I don't know fucking like the people who make shows and stuff are weird like when it comes to decisions like that so that might be the reason why it might just be cyborg was too difficult <laughs> but anyway i'm about eight episodes in so i'm about two thirds of the way through the season i'm not going to give any spoilers don't worry uh but i just will say i am really enjoying it it's it's not the most amazing show in the world but it is a lot better than i thought it would be the marketing campaign for it did not do it any favours. Uh, whenever I saw anything about it or any trailers, I just kind of went, ooh. <laughs> but it is edgy and it is gritty and it is a little bit more so than maybe it needs to be, but it is also interesting with, uh, I don't know whether they're unique versions of the characters or whether they're more like they are in the comics, uh, but they are really interesting. Fucking Beast Boy, there was a scene with Beast Boy, and I won't, like I said, I won't give any spoilers, but that was, like, the biggest emotional moment of the show for me so far. I'm like, Beast Boy? But he's the happy-go-lucky one. And I think that really worked in his favour. Beast Boy's great, dude. Fucking Beast Boy for Prez. Uh, but it's just, it's a good show. You, you should give it a try. If it's not your thing, don't don't bother watching past, like, episode two or three, because it doesn't really... I mean, I don't know, the first few episodes kind of set up the characters meeting and stuff, but... You'll get your overall grasp of the main characters after about three or so episodes, so uh, maybe don't spend too long with that show if it's really not gelling with you, but there is a part in episode one where um, Robin appears and the criminal's like, oh no, where's Batman? And then Robin brutally beats the shit out of him and he goes, fuck Batman! And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but that's probably the worst edge of the show so far, so uh, it, it hasn't gotten much worse than that, and that was episode one, so... <laughs> Give it a try, that's all I'm saying. I guess that's the theme of this video. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had awful feedback at launch. Give it a try. Titans looks a bit gritty and edgy and the marketing campaign for it was awful. Give it a try. Just just give it a try. Uh, so yeah, that's that's me. That's that's this video done. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you want more Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos. Uh, let me know if the quality was any good or not. Uh, I'm really excited to share this game with everyone. And see if anyone realised. Oh, I'm CrazyK095 by the way. Uh, that's my PSN username. It's an old one. Um, yeah, unfortunately you can't change PSN usernames. If you could, trust me, I would. It's, it's not a good username. It's not a good username.